This video is kindly sponsored by AG1. AG1 is a nutritional drink that supports immunity and since using AG1 for the last few weeks, I've noticed a difference in my focus and energy levels as AG1 has rhodiola, magnesium and B vitamins which support sustained energy throughout the day without the caffeine crash that I usually get from coffee. It also includes vital stress adaptogens, minerals and vitamins that enhance focus, cognition and alertness, which means that I've been able to stay focused on my tasks for the day a lot better than usual. AG1 combines nine health products working together as one, replacing your multivitamin, multiminerals, pre and probiotics, immunity support and more. That means AG1 does more for your body and saves you time, money and confusion compared to taking multiple unique products. I actually really enjoy the taste of this because it has a slight taste of pineapple and a hint of vanilla. You guys know that I am constantly trying to improve my health and AG1 has been helping me with that because it's just part of my morning routine now. I've actually been trying this for the past six weeks or so and I'm really enjoying it, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, when setting healthy intentions, consistency is key. And now AG1 is an essential part of my morning routine. I also have some of the AG1 travel packs, which means that wherever I am, I can just take one with me and stay on track with my health goals. Now I've left a link in the description where you can go and check out AG1 and you can also get a year's supply of the AG Vitamin D3 K2 plus five of the AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring this section of the video. Like I said, there is a link in the description where you can go and check them out. Hello everyone, good morning. I am starting this vlog in the car because I'm just about to go and um, do a step class at the gym. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. I've been to this class once before and to summarize what the instructor was doing was not what I was doing. <laughs> so it's, 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 it is fun. It's really fun, but it's quite like fast paced and I just couldn't like keep up. Like my brain was just not working when it came to like working out what, what the steps were because it's like up and over and round and all this like funky stuff. But yeah, we're going to do it anyway, because why not? So, yeah, I'm going to head into the gym and do my step class. Wish me luck. I've just got my pre-workout here. I've been, like, drinking bits of it. I don't understand people who can just, like, chug it. I can never do that. But it's got... This is what I'm talking about. It tastes... The flavour's really nice, but it's just got that little kick that makes you kind of twitch. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I've come well, well early as well for this class, because... Starts at 11.15 and it's currently 11am. <laughs> so I'm 15 minutes early just because I want to make sure that I get a step like right at the back. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I get like at the back of the class so that like I don't distract anyone or anything like that. Like I don't mind being at the front of these things if I know what I'm doing. But I think watching other people around me I think will help. So yeah. <laughs> chew this anymore because you know you're all right okay did you have fun <laughs> right i'm back from my step class now i am knackered <laughs> but i've got to say i <laughs> i thought i was doing way better than what i look like in that in those clips right i felt like do you know ola from Derry girls if you've seen it you'll understand what i'm talking about but ola entered like this talent contest as like a step like doing the step and uh 
<laughs> yeah. I, I thought I, I thought I would dare. Uh, thought me and Orla were, were on par with how good we were, but um, yeah, looking back at it, I don't, I'm not so sure. But I feel great. I've just got some lunch, um, and I'm, I was planning on going to B and M after class and go straight there, just because I really want to pick up one of those dust. Is it like the wet dust sponges that Scrub Daddy do? I think they're called a dust daddy, maybe. I don't know. But I wanted to get them because I've seen that they might be back in stock. But there's no way I was going the the state I was in. If I dropped up to b and I probably would have been kicked out. So yeah, I'm gonna give it give it an hour, have my lunch and whatnot, and then and then go. Coming to B&M because I've just realised when I got home that it's Sunday. It's Sunday for me, which means everything shuts at um, four or five o'clock. So I need to get my job done, you know. I need to go to Aldi as well, um, do a food shop. Does anyone else get so distracted in B&M? Like I've completely forgot what I came for. Oh, it's the wet sponge. Oh my god, I think I just get so distracted by everything that's going on and all the stuff that I want to buy that I completely forget what I actually came for. I forget what I came for and then end up leaving with everything but what I came for. So let's have a look, see if they've got it. Currently mustering all of my resistance not to get this mug. I'm sorry, but how cute is this? Oh, stop it, Jess. It's not helping the fact that there's only one of them on the whole shelf. <laughs> so I'm like, this mug is destined for me. <sighs> Tell you what else I need actually is I need a large sieve because the sieve that I've got, first of all, is ancient and it's starting to like disintegrate. But second, it's not large enough. So I end up with like it all overflowing everywhere. Do they do sieves in here? I can see a colander, but that wouldn't help if I was doing rice. have a look i'm not sure if this is the one but how brilliant is this it's like collapsible so like you can just pop it back in i love the concept of that i don't know if this is big enough though i feel like this is probably the same size if not a little bit smaller than the one i've got the one i've got's like this but black do they do bigger ones no i've decided to go for this one because i've realized this is actually a little bit bigger than the one i've got so i'm gonna try this and i just love that it's collapsible <laughs> so i'm gonna get this um is there anything else i need I feel like this is the rabbit hole that I go in. I look and I'm like, do I need anything? And then I end up needing things that I don't need. Do you know what I mean? I want to know you, but I don't know how. Cause every time I bump right into you, I get all tongue tied. Want you to know me, but I'm way too shy. I just go around admitting that it's you I like I wish that I had guts enough to flirt a little But I'm too scared I'm back from Aldi now I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've just stripped off because I am so hot It was like literally raining this morning and like dead cloudy And now it is... Oh! Sorry about that guys, my microphone just flung itself off the camera There we go <laughs> It's blazing sunshine outside now, so I am gonna sit outside, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I got from Aldi. Cause I feel like I haven't done a little food shop haul in quite a long time. Billy, it's not for you, my love. <laughs> so we picked up some spaghetti, some bananas, avocado, grapes, some bagel things. I haven't had bagels in ages, so we fancied them. Restock on eggs. When are they gonna take this like restriction on how many eggs you can get? I mean, not that I need more than 12, but like, like to think that if I needed more than 12 then I could get them you know but apparently I can't um some mozzarella chicken sausages some of the protein mousses and some protein yogurt some mushrooms strawberries chicken tomato ketchup carrots and a watermelon so I was looking for all of the indicators of a sweet juicy watermelon and this fits the bill in terms of it's got like these webbings on it and it's also got the, the yellow patch on it, which suggests that it's nice and sweet. Only thing, didn't realise till I was coming out that it's been broken. So I'm gonna cut into it and try and take that bit out and hope that it's like not affected the whole watermelon. Um, but I'm just gonna have some of it of this now. I'm actually gonna sit outside, maybe take Billy out with me because he did quite well yesterday on the whole like coming outside and then coming back in without me having to like force him back in. He did, however, start to like really howl, like for the rest of the afternoon. So 
I don't know what to do really. I think until he tries to start escaping from the garden, I'm just gonna keep letting him out as long as I'm outside with him. And we'll just have to do it in little stints like that, see how it goes, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this lot away and then I'm gonna go and sit outside. But I'm too scared of it. show you just because I'm about to do my hair and a lovely and a girl called Kate who I feel like has been a subscriber for since day one <laughs> pretty much she asked if I could show how I do my slick back bun and this is how I'm doing it so I do this probably maybe two days before I actually wash my hair so it's when it's probably due a wash but I don't want to wash it because like because I don't want to get into the routine of washing my hair like every other day so let me get my things. So I watched many a tutorial on how to do this and my hair would always get like lumps and bumps and stuff in it. But I've got my own little routine now and it's not as difficult as like these other people have made it. So all I'm using is hairspray, which I feel like loads of other people who like show how to do these types of buns, they always use like um, mousse or gel or something like that. And it's always just kind of gone like, a bit crusty in my hair and like <laughs> like the next day I'll wake up and I've got like little white flakes or something from where the gel on the mousse is like coming off and I don't want that so I all I use is the got to be glued hairspray on the like the absolute maximum hole that you can get and then this is the brush that I've got so it's a smoothing brush from Amazon and this is a total game changer because it has literally got so many bristles on it that it like just does not miss a hair so all I'm gonna do okay so basically all I do is put my hair back into like the like where I want it to be so I'm gonna do like a low bun and then I spray the top with my hairspray so like pretty heavily just one side at a time and then I'll use the brush to smooth it down and back into my hair into like my hand I'm just checking in the mirror that I've got everything once it's smoothed down I'll spray it again <laughs> just to kind of hold it in place. And then I'll swap hands and do the same on the other side. Spray pretty heavily. As a dancer growing up, lots of hairspray was like just my childhood. <laughs> so I'm like immune to choking on hairspray. And then at the top, at the back, I'll do it again and just kind of brush down into my hands. Then, Make sure I've got it. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll take my tie and just tie it how I want. So I'm just going to do a messy bun in the back. Like so. And then I'm going to go over it again. But really kind of try and get the... Um, and try and get like the little flyaways. So like just here. And then kind of brush it down with my hand or like sometimes I'll even just kind of go and just brush it back down with this and then that will literally not budge for like two days so yeah that's how I do my slip back bun I hope that kind of was explained okay um but yeah it's just kind of a way of not having to wash your hair but then at the same time still looking a little bit put together um so yeah, that's how I do it. And the award for not finishing her vlogs goes to Jess. <laughs> oh my God. S I swear, like nine times out of 10 at the minute, when I am editing my vlogs, I literally, I get to a certain point with the clips and then I'm, lo I'm searching for another clip on my computer and I'm like, did I not end that vlog again? 
again? Jesus wept. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, can I just say it? How lovely has this weather been the last like few days? I, as you can probably tell, I do have a little bit of sunburn. It's definitely summer when you start hearing noises like that 24 seven. People got to do their garden. I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna whinge, but you know, so you can probably hear that quite loudly, but just please try and ignore it. Um, I've had my windows open for the past three days pretty much. My bedroom window, I don't think it's been shut once for the last like three days. And can I just say as well, I had, I think since I've started sleeping with my window open, my sleep quality has gone up so, like substantially. So like I woke up this morning at 6.30. Actually no, I woke up a little bit before my alarm. It was, so I usually get up at 6.30, but I woke up about 6.15. I was like wide awake, wide awake. So yeah buzzing with that but yeah i've been really enjoying the weather being out sunbathing billy has been going out in the garden a bit more he's just actually sunbathing right there <laughs> honestly any spot in the house which is like remotely sunny he'll lie in but yeah it's been going out for the last like three or four days the only thing actually i'm gonna close that because that is that is quite loud hang on is that better <laughs> um so yeah it's been going out the last like few days and it's oh, it's just so nice to see him enjoying himself outside and get a little bit more confident. He had a little bit of a standoff with my neighbor's dog. So my neighbor has a miniature Dachshund called Bruno and Billy, I'm not even joking, he will go up to the fence and wind him up. So like, if he hears that Bruno's in the yard next to us, he'll go right up to the fence and poke his nose through and then Bruno will start barking and then Billy starts getting a fluffy tail and I'm like, Billy, you started that. You literally started that, so yeah. But he's just been loving it and he hasn't tried to escape yet. There was one time he did jump onto, um, onto the top of the fence, um, but that was because, I'm not even joking, we had about four magpies in the tree and they were squawking like no other and he was looking at them for about um, maybe like 10 minutes, non-stop, looking at them. His tail was wagging like a dog and then I think he just kind of thought, I'm gonna try and get that. But it wasn't like a, it's like trying to escape the garden. It was like, I want to get that bird kind of hunting instinct. So yeah, but other than that, he's been fine. And I'm just really enjoying having him outside. The only thing that's like a little bit iffy is the fact that he, he like, like I said earlier in the vlog, he howls like when he wants to be outside or if I need to come inside and like work or do something he will start howling because he wants to be outside like all the time now and at the moment I'm not feeling too comfortable especially when he doesn't have like a collar or anything like that on with letting him out in the garden on his own like with me kind of in the house just because like I don't think he would escape like I don't think he would try and go out out of the garden but if he did I would like to have something like a GPS tracking device on him or something where I can find him very easily and bring him back. But like I said, I don't, I really don't think that he would do that yet. I'm, I'm not gonna make any promises because as soon as I start saying stuff like that, he probably will start, you know, just to, as a, I'll show you mother. Um, but yeah, anyway, so he's gonna be going outside again today, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> But yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm just going to end it here. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Baby, let me love you.